Lauren Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. So, and today I am going to be just chatting about the most recent episode of The Mandalorian that came out on Friday. Yeah, today's Monday. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would chat about it. I love The Mandalorian so much and yeah, I just thought we'd kind of chat through the episode, like what I thought about it and yeah, just kind of like a little review type thing. Anyway, I'm going to do my makeup at the same time. And I can't. I can't review The Mandalorian without the child, without Grogu. So the start with them in the ship, I thought that was adorable. Him calling him Grogu and then him like looking up like I just thought that was so sweet it's so cute that he has like a proper name now um and he's not just like the child or kid um I just I do I think that's absolutely adorable honestly I'm not ready for the day that they get like split up like I just don't I just don't want it to happen like I really don't I just want them to like travel together like just just forever i don't know if when the series actually ends if they will like be split up but that would just be so sad even if he was like leaving him with the jedi it would still just be it would be so sad um but yeah so that bit in, in the ship was so cute um i don't know why he loves that little ball so much i've seen some theories online um that like if he was training with the jedi then they probably used um like sorry i need to put you down <laughs> like training ball you know the one that luke uses the one that like shoots out like lasers and all that stuff like when he's got the when he's blindfolded um and that could be why he loves that little thing so much i can't remember exactly what i sit ahsoka i think it is um said like i think she said that he would like send out like something to other jedi um so it'll be interesting to see like obviously mando's gonna go and try and get him back but if any other jedi like would have like seen it before and if they like show up on the ship as well to try and rescue him at the same time apparently my neck and this foundation are not friends today um that's cute i saw people saying online that if they um do bring like luke into it obviously they already have a young han from the solo movies but people would like um sebastian stan to play the young luke which i think is a pretty good choice i don't really i can't really think of anyone else who kind of like looks a bit like mark hamill like i kind of i kind of see where they're going with that one i'm gonna use the child palette today because it's just fitting honestly the anxiety i feel when grogu and mando are separated like it oh my god it stresses me out like <laughs> um when he was sat on the rock and he like was like okay i'm gonna go like and see what that is like you stay here i'm like oh my god please don't leave him this is why i'm not a professional like <laughs> review or anything because i can't remember her name but the um like sharpshooter girl the um the one that was with Boba Fett um she's really really cool i really like her so i'm glad that she's like been brought back because we saw her for like we saw her for that one episode but i feel like her character's really cool um so i'm like excited to see more of her honestly boba fett i was like <gasps> like i watch it with my dad um and he's a huge star wars fan has been like since since they came out since he was a, like since he was a kid um and we were both we were like sat there and we were like surely it's not it's surely it's not him like surely it's not actually him because obviously like they're in the pit the like the sheriff he had like boba fett um 
armor and stuff and i thought that was going to be like the nod to him was like having his armor like i did not think that he was actually going to be in the show like that is so cool i was like i was like no way surely it's not surely it's got to be like i don't know like his brother or something like but no it's actually him and then when he like came out and he actually had the armor on and everything i was like this is so sick so yeah when because when he was on the stone i know that um asako ahsoka ahsoka i'm gonna call her ahsoka but i, I hope i'm pronouncing it right um she said that he would like communicate with other jedi or something like that but it also seemed to just like enhance his powers because at the end when he was throwing those stormtroopers around that was absolutely hilarious i mean also stormtroopers like when they came out when that ship came down and the door opened and the stormtroopers ran out i literally like turned to my dad and i was like oh my god it's these goons like i don't were they always so bad like in the movies and stuff like they literally have no kind of skill whatsoever they're just there to be shot like i just find it hilarious when um mando kept trying to like penetrate the force field i don't know if that's what you call it but like um the thing that was protecting grogu i was just like oh my god like he's trying like oh my gosh he's trying to reach him like he keeps trying and then he was like okay i'll like try and protect you and then literally as soon as he left like thing came down the the barrier came down i was like oh my goodness like this show it really does tug it tugs at my heartstrings i tell you i just i just feel like the razor crest did not need to be destroyed i was like genuinely i like genuinely was like <gasps> like i genuinely gasped when it got destroyed that was so sad like that's been um mando's home for so long like and i just thought that was so sad and then he was going through the rubble and he found the silver ball and i was like no no thank you i did not need this emotional distress today um the title the tragedy that was that was apt that was definitely yeah here on the nose with that one um i just have no idea how they're gonna like find him like i don't know if he's still they put that tracker in him um didn't they like that gideon guy put a traff a traff um a tracker in him i think is how they found him but i don't really understand how maybe they'll like mando or like hack into it or find the tracker or something like that because the galaxy's pretty the galaxy's pretty big so that's quite a quite a way to search for him he's only small bless him i'm so honestly it makes me so stressed like bless him he's only he's only a little baby and then i want to like harvest his blood in what world okay i tell you in what world does that make any sense i feel like they've done that before as well like did they do that in x-men or like something like that where they were like oh the way to give people powers is just to put the blood of mutants into like into people like no how is that ever gonna work it's stupid logic if anything happens to that little baby oh my goodness i feel like the world would actually just just lose it like mando would be cancelled like <laughs> there is no way that would just be too sad i wonder when like mando goes into like he's like protective dad mode like he's like don't don't come near like i feel like it, you might as well just rename it john wick now like after that like i feel like it's gonna be a full-on john wick and his dog situation <laughs> a bit more than that because obviously grogu isn't a isn't a dog but <laughs> that kind of thing of like now that you've taken him like there's gonna be there's gonna be hell to pay i'm assuming like they'll just kind of like gather everyone up like um 
Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. This is why I'm, I'm so bad. Like, my memory isn't bad, but for some reason, there's certain things, like names of characters, that I'm just, just terrible. Um, he's played by Carl Weathers. Weathers? Carl? I can't remember his name. Oh my god. But you, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and like, Kara. Um, I feel like, like, they've got to get them back in to save him. Like, them and Boba Fett. Um, and like the sharpshooter, I feel like that's, that's quite the team there, so, if anyone's going to do it, they can do it, and maybe they'll even, I did see the, um, Sasha Banks, who played one of the, um, the Stormtroopers, the Stormtroopers, um, that played one of the other Mandalorians, she said that she's not in any more episodes. So I don't know if um, the other Mandalorians will come back like to help. Or if maybe it'll just be the leader. Um, Bo. Is it Bo? Or something like that. This is what I mean. I'm terrible. I'm terrible with names. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool. Um, I feel like Mando's got, it's got pretty good pretty good team out there if he really goes and goes and searches for them honestly i feel like i might cry when they get when they're reunited like i like one of the, my favorite moments of the whole season so far was when um that guy had grogu and then when he let him go he like ran over to mando like with his hands up like if that's the kind of situation we're we're gonna have i may i may cry um, because that was just too cute. Like, I'm not really up on, um, like, the Clone Wars and stuff like that. I want to start watching it. I used to watch it with my brother as a kid. Um, so I already knew who, like, Ahsoka, Ahsoka? Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Ahsoka. Um, was before she came into the Mandalorian. I'd seen her before. I had um her action figure as a kid and stuff um and i really used to love the clone wars but honestly i don't really remember anything about it in terms of like storyline and what what affects what like affects the mandalorian and what affects the, like movies and everything so i'm not sure how many like jedis are left like if there's jedis in in that show that we might see um because obviously like luke's still about but i don't know if they'd bring him into the mandalorian like is he kind of i mean they've obviously brought boba fett into it and he's a big part of the star wars universe so i guess anything's possible really i feel like it would be kind of crazy to see someone else play luke skywalker though anyone else get that like i thought it was gonna be kind of weird watching someone else play han solo but i really liked the movie i thought it was really really good um so like that was cool so i feel like i would i would warm to them but i just i love mark hamill i really do what a legend i think there's like two episodes left is it or is next week the last one no i think there's two no, maybe Lake Sweet is the last one. I think next week might be the last one, which is so sad because it's my, it honestly, it's my absolute favourite thing. Like, I am going to miss watching it every week so much, especially if they leave it on a cliffhanger. Oh my goodness. I honestly just thought Boba Fett was so cool. Like, for me, that was just like, like, it was just amazing. I, I loved it. Even though, it was because I saw um, I saw some people saying online before that because it was only going to be um, 30 minutes um, that because it was only going to be 30 minutes that it could be like a kind of more filler type episode um, it's like the shortest one that they've done so far it's like 32 minutes I think um, so going in I wasn't expecting such intensity I tell you, The Mandalorian is genuinely 
one of the best shows I've ever seen and like it's just it baffles me how good it is like not in like a way of like I don't even know how to explain it like I'm not surprised that it's good because like all the actors are good the directing like and everything and I love Star Wars anyway but it's just every week I'm just like surely it can't get any better than it already is and every week they pull it out of the bag it's so incredibly good I want Grogu and Mando to be reunited so bad I don't think you understand <laughs> I just think it is such incredible storytelling and to be able to get so many people invested in a relationship between two characters where like like you can't like with one you can't see any kind of facial expressions like nothing like it's all based on like voice and acting and like just mannerisms um and then with this adorable little creature that doesn't even speak but yet somehow they have this bond that is just so cute and so many people have become attached like I just think it's such a credit to the creators of the show, Pedro, like all the well, all the actors, but Pedro's amazing as the Mandalorian. Um, yeah, I just think it's so crazy. It's just captured the hearts of so many people in a way that I feel like I haven't really seen for a long time. Um, I feel like it's kind of rare now to get so many people watching the same thing and so many people enjoying the same show um i feel like the last time i probably saw it like that was probably breaking bad like when everyone was obsessed with it um or like the walking dead everyone was obsessed with it for a long time and like everyone tuned in every week to watch that and stuff but i feel like that's kind of died down now and i think what's so good about the mandalorian as well is that it is literally for everyone like anyone can watch it anyone can enjoy it but with that being said it's not it's not too targeted to either audience like um it's not too um on the more young childish childish isn't probably the right word but like on the younger side you know targeting towards and children um like to the point where it doesn't become enjoyable for older star wars fans anymore and it also isn't too mature that kids won't understand it and won't um be able to like grasp the concepts of the show so i feel like it's just such a good balance between the two that literally anyone can enjoy it and that is another thing that obviously shows like the walking dead and Breaking Bad don't really have um this is like a full-on like you can watch it with your family you can watch it by yourself you can like just anything I just think it is so it's so so good and I just I hope they make like 10 seasons of it honestly yeah I just I love um that they're having like different people come in and direct different episodes because I just love to see different people's artistic vision and um just their different view on things and i feel like you can see it with the different episodes like you can see the different direction that each and the different like liberties that each director is taking um i thought bryce dallas howard amazing her episode was insane i just and i think i think one of the things i love as well is that um, it's great for me and well for other communities as well to see themselves not just in the um, not just in the visuals like as in the actors but also within the crew that is helping produce it especially you know when you want to get into the film industry or the television industry and there's not unless you're interested in that kind of thing there isn't a lot of focus on the crew and um, be able to see Bryce 
directing and like the pictures of her behind the scenes and that is just like wow like for me as a woman who um loves tv and film i studied it i really wanted to go into it to see her directing such a huge production and you know lead so many people and do such an incredible job i love to see it i really do and i know um with the most recent episode um and yeah robert rodriguez directing this week i just think it's so important to just have representation and diversity especially in crew as well as cast i think trying to bring more diversity into the um casting of actors has been a big push for a while um and i feel like it's taken forever but we are finally starting to see that um and i think diversity in crew um is a big thing that also needs work as well um and you know and these things take time but i think there are so so many talented people out there that deserve to be working on these big productions and part of these crews of these amazing films um and i just think it's so exciting when you get to see directors or um writers or anything like that that you really admire you get to see them really um just really blossom i suppose is the right word um and just see them thrive doing what they do best and create such beautiful pieces of work pieces of art um so yeah um robert directed this episode and i think he did an in incredible job it was so amazing i'm honestly so sad that the razor crest is gone like i loved that ship it was one of my favorites in the star wars franchise that honestly broke me when he destroyed that ship um so i wonder what's gonna happen now um if they'll like find they'll like find him a new one i wonder what that's gonna look like um if it'll be like a ship we recognize or if it'll be a brand new one i'm always interested to know other people's thoughts like i'm always the first like the first thing i do after episodes is like go to twitter and see what everyone's saying go to reddit everyone just has such interesting like theories and stuff um so yeah any kind of theories i always always want to know i really can't guess uh what's gonna happen like maybe we'll see another jedi just because obviously grogu kind of like i don't know if he sent out some message or what he was doing on that stone but it looked intense so i just need i just need them to be reunited because it's just not right the balance in the universe is off when they're not together do you know what i mean i think the lightsaber is so cool i would love to see i just i think i was saying to my dad last week when ahsoka um came back that was the one thing that for me the mandalorian was missing was lightsabers because they're just so cool and yeah that was i feel like the one thing that was really missing that i was like when she came back with the lightsabers i was like yes so this like weird sword lightsaber i feel like i don't know if it's something that's been in the star wars franchise before like in the clone wars or something like that um i've not seen it before so if anyone knows about that that would be cool let me know um so yeah that would be insane if like mando had that mental i feel like the oh, i can't remember the name whatever that really strong metal is that his suit is made out of oh my god i feel like it's right here like in the forefront of my mind at Bask baskar did i just make that up <laughs> maybe um the like that like pokey thing 
that thing he's got, that like stick <laughs> that she gave him, um, spear, something like that. Um, oh my gosh, spear, edge, what a coincidence. I feel like he's gonna use that to kill Gideon. I don't know if it'll be this season or if it'll be next season, but I feel like that's gonna come, it's gonna come full circle at some point, like you can't, I can't mess with Grogu and then, and expect no consequences, do you know what I mean? So yeah i feel like i might just leave it here i don't really have anything else to say if you guys have any thoughts about the new episode let me know down below what you think is going to be in the next one and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye